The original Sanchesa solar car was invented by TUT engineering students and staff in 2014. It is the fourth version of TUT's signature solar car called the Sanchesa 4 that competes against those from other institutions. Almost all engineering disciplines at TUT are involved in this project to drive the car on a public road all the way to Namibia. We've got engineers from almost all disciplines, probably just not mechanic uh, or, or not chemical, so mechanical, electrical, uh, some software, industrial design, 3D design, some students from architecture too. Um, and I think these students come together and I think what, what gives us the edge really is that we, we have put in a lot of effort in our wireless telemetry that sends data from the solar car to our uh, data center and our data center we then process it. According to the 2018 Sasol Solar Challenge, TUT Sanchesa team is ranked number one on the continent. This road trip being embarked on is part of preparing for this year's Sasol Solar Challenge taking place in September. Well, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. We've been working hard for many years and hopefully we can uh, keep the title at this year's Sasol Solar Challenge happening later in the year, uh, probably in, during September. TUT's Deputy Vice Chancellor says projects like this assist TUT in grooming work-ready students. As an example, one of our students um, who have worked in, this pro in one of the projects of this car um, is, is now being taken by Netherlands. But the requirement was that he needs to complete his master's with us because they want him to have this experience, they want him to have the expertise that are coming from this car. And the student has just submitted. So this is really exciting for us that we are contributing towards producing future ready graduates. And secondly, from the The Sanchesa team is expected to arrive in Ventuk, Namibia on Saturday. They will visit St. Paul's College to expose the learners to state-of-the-art technologies and applications. Offense Estimo, SABC News, Pretoria.